Hey guys, it's Kristen with another Chance Resale. Welcome to my channel. I'm a full-time reseller and we are going to finish off this large lot of jewelry today. We are also going to go into a part two where we go through more of the online auction purses. Um, I did get my nails done. <clears throat> nice, nice for Christmas and New Year's. Um, a little bit of a, you know, different different on each hand. So, um, <clears throat> okay, so if you're interested in anything, please email me at anotherchanceresale1 at gmail.com. All my information's always down below in the description box. You just have to open it up. Uh, you might have to click more or, um, <clears throat> you know, click like a little arrow to open it up, but the directions will be there. I will also keep a sold list in the comment section which means it's where everybody comments on videos. It's down at the bottom. You just scroll up on the video. You'll see everybody's comments. And then at the very top of the comment section will be the sold list. Please check that out before emailing, but you also have to refresh the page in order to get the most up-to-date sold list. It just helps me get through emails and you know not get bombarded with hundreds of emails um, and being able to get back to you guys as quickly as I can. Okay, so I think we're a little close. All right, so let's see what we got, and then we will switch over and show you guys some more purses. All right, so, oh, and I will also do, um, so on Monday, I let you guys know that I was doing um, a you know little holiday gift in each of the videos this week. So um, today, today's gift in today's video, um, the first three people who place an order today with today's, you know, with the stuff from today's video, you will get an extra piece of jewelry or a piece of jewelry if you just purchase a purse. Um, it will be a costume piece of jewelry, one free piece. So in, um, so I will, whoever is the first three people who um, you know, come into my emails with an order, I will let you know that you've won a free piece of jewelry. So that's just another, uh, another, you know, one of my little ways to give back to you guys. Okay. So this looks like it is a, uh, faux leather gold metallic bracelet. It's got all these rhinestones on it. It's got some, uh, chain link there is a little bit of wear to the chain link, but it's not too bad. Um, let me get my, my measuring tape. There are two sizing points here. So it could be a seven or seven and a half inch. And I will do this one for $4 since there's some slight wear on the chain. Let me just move my phone out of the way so we don't get, so I have enough room. All right, so this is a stretchy with acrylic beads on it. You got some dangly ones. It seems like it's in good condition. I will do it for $3. <clears throat> um, this one is, it looks like maybe brass with a green inlay. I'm not sure what the inlay is made out of but it looks to be in pretty good condition. Very minor wear, eight inch circumference, $3. <clears throat> this one is a Monet. It says M, so I'm guessing it means medium. It has blue enamel and gold tone. It's actually in pretty good condition. It is, I would go with seven and a half inches around and two and a half inches across. Some people like the across measurements. Um, so for this one, I will do, let's do $6. Looks like it's in good shape. All right, this is, it says Rose Gonzalez. It is a adjustable bracelet, but it definitely looks a little bit dirty. Um, I'm just gonna put this in craft. Maybe somebody can harvest the rhinestones. That'll just be a dollar. Ooh, look at this. This is glass. How pretty is that? That is gorgeous. It's got, it's blue with like, um, almost like a rose gold metallic 
glitter in there. Stunning. It is an eight inch circumference with a one inch opening and this is about two and a quarter inches across. So, I mean this, there we go. It barely fit me to um, get put on my wrist even though it is a very large size for me. Um, but this is really cool. I like it. Let's do $6 on this as well. This is, what does that say? F-O in ink? I'm not sure I've ever heard of that. It's gold tone, but see, I don't know if it's it has wear or because the wear looks pretty uniform. It kind of looks like it's silver tone and gold tone. I don't know if you guys can, can tell, but see the little bit of silver tone and then a little bit of gold tone? I think it might be it might be like this. I kind of like it. You can stack it with other gold and silver tone bracelets or wear it on its own. Let me um, fold it over again and do a measurement. It is seven inches. Um, I will do this one for $6 as well. And if nobody purchases it, I might be keeping it. It's really nice. All right, then we have this big old bangle. It does appear to have gold and silver tone as well. I'm just looking for a maker mark. I don't see one. So it has like the silver tone in the middle and then the gold tone around the outskirts. It's actually really cool. It looks like it's in really good shape. It's seven inches around, two and a half inches across, and let's do um, $5. All right, we have, <clears throat> excuse me, we have a faux leather orange bracelet. It's got a couple little scratches. It's got a heart with a rhinestone and you would clip it on like so. It is a seven inch bracelet. Nah, I'll do three dollars. Okay, this is, this definitely feels like it's glass. With like a copper tone, almost like an antiqued copper tone. Hardware. Yeah, definitely glass. This, these might be agate. It's very pretty. It is a seven inch length and I will do $6. Look at the banding on that. Let's do a focus check. Gorgeous. Okay. This, ooh, this is a Kendra Scott. So this, um, it has a little bit of wear. Like it's, the copper tone is slightly coming through, but it's not, horrible it's very very little you got the um blue cabochons on the ends and it has a little bit of wear on the inside <clears throat> this is a seven inch circumference and the um opening is one and a quarter inches and i will do Let's do $7 on it. Okay, we have this guy. He does not have any markings. Zigzag, orange, enamel, and gold tone. Eight inch circumference, $2. And then it looks like we have some more bangles. <clears throat> this one is a J Crew. It has kind of like a creamy 
like off-white color with black polka dots and gold tone. Eight inch circumference. Uh, let's do four dollars. All right, these all look to be like um, shell mother of pearl inlay. So let's do the thin ones. So these are the thinnest ones. I don't think they're sterling. So this one is like a beige white and this one is purple. Okay. They're both eight inch and I will do these um, thin ones for $4 each. Oh, make sure you guys are giving me, giving me a timestamp. I totally forgot to say that timestamp and brief description when you email me. So $4 each on the thin ones. Then we have these. So these have a brass interior. So we have two uh, like white mother of pearl and then we have a blue one. These are also eight inches each. And I will do these for $5 each. And then I have the large mother of pearl. It looks like maybe something might have happened right there. I'm not sure. It doesn't go all the way through. Seems like it's in really good condition otherwise. This one is a seven and a half inch. And I will do this one for $6. <clears throat> And then if you, I'll do a bundle deal for you guys. Um, buy two of them and you get one free. Buy two, get one free of equal or lesser value. Okay. So we have a stretchy. These are glass. You have some black, some smoky colored, some silver, some iridescent, um, four bucks. We have a seed bead beaded <laughs> stretchy bracelet, three bucks. This is, there's no maker mark on this. This is pretty. So you got the three strands. These feel like metal beads. And then you have the blue acrylic cabochons. Super pretty. There is an extender. Without it, it's a seven inch drop, so you'll probably need the extender. But I think that is super pretty. It's kind of giving me like, um, almost like, uh, like Egyptian aztec -y vibes. Super cool, good shape, let's do $5. Okay, so we have a shell necklace. Some of these shells can, necklaces can be worth some big bucks. Um, I don't think that this is one of them. The ones that are, um, are like the cone shape shells. Um, let me see if I can show you because they can be worth some big bucks. I forget the name of the shell, so let me just quickly look it up. Okay, it's called the Trochus shell. Trochus, Trochus, Trochus shell necklace. So check this out. Okay, so some of them can be really expensive. Some of them are more affordable, at affordable price. We have, like, I mean, look at this, okay? So let me, um, you know, pick one and zoom in on it for you. So see how they're kind of pointed? These are the expensive ones. So keep an eye on that. All right, so you see how they're pointy? 
All right, so that's just a little bit of a lesson for you guys. So these, it is a 16 inch drop and I will do these for um, $5. Okay, so we have two shell bracelets. For some reason, these don't really sell at all. Um, they could be good for um, repurposing, so I will do them each for $2. All right. We have an illusion necklace. These are plastic. Ooh, that's a really pretty color. Love that. So now let's see, we have an extender, which we're probably gonna need because this looks short. Yeah, it's only a six and a half inch without the extender on the drop. So let's do this for $2. This looks pretty. What are you? Oh, you're two. Okay, so let's see. This is a long chain. I don't see any markings. Gorgeous. It does have a little bit of discoloration. Maybe it just needs a good polish. Again, right there. It is very long. <clears throat> 14 and a half inches on the drop. It might need a good polishing. Um, so I'll just do this for $4. Oh, it's actually three pieces. So this is very pretty. Hmm, very delicate. A nice screw barrel clasp. Don't see any markings, but that's really pretty. It is a eight and a half inch drop. And let's do this for $5. Gorgeous. This is very pretty. I like this a lot. Um, you just need a gold chain. It, um, if I have one, I will include it. If somebody will, per if somebody wants to purchase this, I don't see any markings. There's a, some slight wear on the back, on the edges. These are just an acrylic cabochon. Um, very, very light wear. A little bit in here, if you can see. Overall, it's really nice. It is a big, big pendant. Um, let's do it for $5 and I will throw a chain in there if I have one. This has a tag. Aeropostale. Okay, so it is silver tone. You have peace, love, hope, love, wish, hope, and faith. Um, there is a little bit of wear. It might just be from, you know, them clanking together. There is also an extender. Without it, it's a 16 inch length uh, on the drop. You probably can double it because it has the extender. We'll do it for $4. <clears throat> Uh-oh. Oh, we've got to tangle. There we go. Oh, look at this. We have a gold tone chain. This is no maker mark, but we might just add that on here. So that might be the winning chain. There you go. Okay. <clears throat> this is a Leah Sophia. It is silver tone with an extender and then you have this really pretty pendant. It's almost like the opposite cat eye, like the cat eye goes up and down. Very pretty, really nice condition. 
without the extender, it's a eight inch drop. Let's do $6, gorgeous. Then we have this silver tone chain necklace with some bar satellites. Really nice condition, great layering piece. 11 and a half inch drop, $4. Really nice condition. <clears throat> Ooh, we have some rings. A ring a ding a ding. Okay, so let's look at the earrings first. These I thought I saw a mark. These are crown trafari. And they are clip-ons, they are gold tone. They have rhinestones and they look like they're in very good condition. I will do these for $5. This, I don't know what you are. <clears throat> you look like a pe you look like a flower that was dipped in gold. Oh, it's a pendant. There we go, right there. That's actually really pretty. Um I don't see any markings. I'll do it for $5. All right, we have this little ring. I don't see any markings. It's got kind of like um, swirl patterns on it. Silver tone, size five and a half. Nope, too, too little for my pinky. We'll do, um, this would make a good midi ring. A little bit big for me, but we'll do $4. Okay, then we have this one. This says seven inside. Oh, this is a Banana Republic right there. So it's gold tone with these little um, black spots or black little studs. It's actually more of a seven and a quarter. Good condition. And we'll do this for $5. I don't know if you guys can hear, that's my washer. I have the wash going. So if you hear any noises, that's what it is. All right, this is really pretty. This is a silver tone chain um, bracelet. It is seven inches and I will do $4. Okay, this, are you one necklace or two? I think this might be multi-strand. That might say Gwen. Okay, so it is three strand, gold tone. It's got these little rhinestone satellites. There's your first layer, your second layer, and your third layer has a really beautiful cross. Really nice, really nice condition. Oops, it's backwards. Gorgeous. So without the extender, we have the first layer coming in at eight and a half inches then the second layer at 11, and then the third layer at 15 inches on the drop. So for this beauty, I will do $6. I like it. Gorgeous. All right, let's see what else we got. Okay, this looks like it has a tag for Old Navy. It is a gunmetal with black acrylic faceted beads. Let me try to get this unstuck here. Three different layers. It 
It does have a, an extender. First layer comes to eight inches. Brand new with the tag. I will do five dollars. Okay, so this is another necklace that is kind of out of date. Um, it's in good condition though, um, but I'll only do it for a dollar. If anybody wants to repurpose with it. Okay, this looks like we have a set. Silver tone. I'll just fix it. All right, I don't know what's going on. I think this may have come unglued because it may it looks like somebody may have tried to glue it back in and got glue all over the place. Um, so we're just gonna put this one in crafting for a dollar. Let's look at the bracelet. Yeah, there's something, something's going on with that too. So we'll do this for a dollar as well. We have a paparazzi set. This is like a copper tone. You got the earrings and you got the necklace you have some tassel bits some pink faux pearls um i will do this set for four dollars since it's only five dollars new looks like we have another paparazzi set you have the earrings this is a long necklace and it has let's see It has three layers and it is d d three different sizes um, super long again I'll do this one for four dollars then we have silver tone with some of these shell dyed shell pretty there is an extender Without it, it's about a six and a half inch drop, so you'll definitely need the extender. This would look really pretty with a bathing suit. Um, let's do $5. All right, this has a lot of wear toward the top here. All of the gold tone is coming off. Um, so this will be in crafting for a dollar. This is Charming Charlie. This is really pretty. This is um, like a brick red acrylic cabochons. It does have an extender, but I'm pretty sure this type of chain, you can definitely put the clasp anywhere. Um, it's an eight inch drop without the extender. And let's do this for $4. All right. Okay, so we have these three lovely ladies, copper, gold, silver tone. That says, I don't know, I can't read it. Me, Mumo, Mumo? I have no idea. It looks like M I or M U M O. Oh boy, I don't know. I can't read it. It's probably something pretty, pretty nice, but it has an extender with a nice silver tone chain, nine inches on the drop. I'm going to do it for $6.
that's pretty cool. So it's a cross. And it won't come off the edge. Nope. That's interesting. Okay. We have a uh, silver tone chain, 10 inch on the drop, 2 inch on the uh, cross, and I'll do it for $5. La 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 la, what are you? Are you J. Crew? You are. All right. So this one has um, very little wear. It's like an antique gold tone. Long. You have all these acrylic baubles, kind of in like a grayish blue color. Very pretty. Very good condition. And I think all the rhinestones are there. It's a 16 inch drop, but I'm pretty sure you can click, clip the Senorita clasp on any of these links to make it smaller if you would like. So I'll do this for $6. Okay, next up, let's see, we have a whole jumbled little jumble. We have a holiday stretchy. I don't see any markings on any of these. Nope. But seems like it's in good shape. I'll do it for five. This is silver tone, multi-strand. These are acrylic. It looks like it's got some discoloration in there because these are like um, silver tone beads with like a plastic over it. Yeah, I'm not really liking that look. Looks like there's rust in there. So that'll just be in crafting. <clears throat> These could be bone, screw barrel clasp. Let me see. Could actually be plastic, honestly. I don't see any. Yeah, I'm not sure. So we'll just do a measurement, nine inches on the drop. It is graduated and I'll do $5. <clears throat> this is gold tone. You have an extender. I love the color combo here. Gold tone, you have some regular uh, white faux pearls, champagne and brown. Gorgeous. Three different layers. The first one comes in at an eight inch drop without the extender. Beautiful, $5. Ooh, look at this. Glass with some Millefiori. So black glass with Millefiori. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. It is a 12 inch drop and I will do this for $8. Love that one. This is Charming Charlie. That's pretty. Got the open filigree work discs. Excellent condition. Again, this is a great chain to be clasped anywhere. It's coming in at an eight and a half inch drop. Then you have an extender. And I will do that for five. Excellent condition. Oh, 
let me just pull the rest of the stuff out of this box so that um, we can go through all the rest of it together. And then we will switch over to purses. LC, Liz Claiborne. Oh, that was just one. So we have silver tone and blue acrylic beads. Cute. There is an extender. It's a seven inch drop without it. I will do $4. Yep. There we go. This is a Monet. Are we focused? Ooh, la la, la 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 la. Yes, is it? Yeah. So we have red acrylic beads with some blue and gold uh, satellite. It is long and it is a 16 inch drop and we will do this for $6. Excellent condition. This one is silver tone. You have kind of like these off-white acrylic beads. Oh geez, am I not focused? Off-white acrylic beads with silver tone. A 15 inch drop. This one has a little bit of wear. Uh, I'll just do this one for $2. This looks pretty. Let's see what this is. Okay, so this is one of those pendants that you can open and there's a little pearl inside. So it's like a little lotus flower, I think. And when you take the chain out, you can open the pendant. Very cool. Just silver tone, but excellent condition. And it is a seven and a half inch drop, and I will do five dollars. Let me just get this box out from underneath my feet because it's taking up too much room. Okay, oh, let's look at the rest of this. What happened here? How did that get stuck? All right, I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna do it. Craft for a dollar. This is pretty. Gold tone. You have some um, acrylic and faux pearl. Um, stations you have a really pretty flower that comes at the Y and then a greenish rhinestone very pretty excellent condition there is an extender but without it we're sitting at a seven inch drop to the pendant so you'll need that extender and I'll do this for five All right, let me get these little baggies out of here. Okay, we have, ooh, so that says 925. But we are magnetic. And we also have a little bit of a problem with that chain. It's a little separated. So, um, let's see, it's a little bit separated. It's an 18 inch chain, but that is right at the base there. So I'll just do this for five. We have another chain. 
It is a multi-link. Excellent condition, nine inch drop, $4. We have the silver leaf. Just silver tone, it's got some wear on the edges. It's a 10 and a half inch drop, and I'll do it for $3. We have this chain. This is gold tone. Again, this is like the other chain that was multi-link, but this one is thicker. Nine and a half inch drop, $5. Then we got the kids, the kids. Okay, so that's that KIS brand. I have sold these charms before. It is on a ball chain. It's very long. The chain does have some wear to it. It's a 14 inch drop and I'll do this for four. Okay, this is cool. This is an elephant. I think this is just bone. Pretty cool. Got all little elephants all the way up. Nine inch drop. I will do uh, $8 on it. What is this? To keep in your pocket, a heart for love, a peace sign for hope, an acorn for long and healthy life, an angel to watch over you and the world because, because its future is in your hands. That's cute. Very cute. Okay. Nothing on, oops, nothing on the back. Actually, it says Vilmaine. I don't know if that's the branding, but I will do this for $5. All right, getting down to the last few pieces. What's the matter, Dally? You dreaming? <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear him. All right, so this is a Nautica watch. This is genuine leather. Um, it's very nice. It maybe only was worn once. Um, I don't know if it's working, but I will change the battery and I will do this for $6. Then we have a studio clamper watch. Silver tone with black enamel. It is a six and a half inch circumference and I will change the battery and I will do $5. Okay, this is the last little baggie, you guys. Okay, so it looks like we have a 1928 necklace with hook closure, gold tone, and then these little faux pearls and flowers. Absolutely gorgeous. Without the extender, it's coming in at an eight inch drop. I will do this one for six. And then lastly, what does that say? I think, I think that says Monet. Let's look at the other one. I think that might be Monet. So these are gold tone. Oh yeah, it says Monet right there on the ear back. Very cute little gold tone dangles. Love these. 
Um, we'll do these for five. Okay, guys, that wraps up this lot of jewelry. So next week, we will start something brand new. Uh, Kate, <laughs> as you hear, Dallas. <laughs> um, stay tuned. We are going to switch on over to go through more of the on online auction purses. Hey guys, part two of the video. We are going to go through more purses that I won from the online auction. Um, so again, you can email me if you're interested in anything you see. Another chance resale one at gmail.com. I gave, I just gave Dallas a treat. So if you hear him munching away, that's what that is. Um, timestamp and a, a timestamp and a brief description of the items you're interested in. Uh, so I invoice you correctly. Check the sold list at the um, comment section. If I can think straight comment section, there will be a sold list. Check that out before you email me. After the video is over, you can refresh it to see the most up-to-date sold list. All right, let's get started. So remember, I have no idea what any of these purses are when I bought it. It was basically a blind transaction. I only got to see a few photos of the whole, whole of all the lots in general. Um, this looks like a little shoulder purse or it can be adjusted to a crossbody. Let's see if there are any makers. I don't see any. I don't think that this is leather, but it's a cute little easy Dallas. Are you okay? He swallows them. He swallows the treats way too soon. Okay, when there's still like a lot left. Okay, so this is, it's in really good condition. So you have a front little zipper pocket. You have this zippered section. You have the middle, which is snapped. And you have this zippered section. So let me see. I don't think my phone will fit. Not really. So if you have a large phone, it's not going to fit. But this is in very, very, very good condition. So if you would like just a little bag to, you know, run around with, um, this is great. I will do $10 on it. This is blue leather, it feels like. Oh, it's a Tianello. It has the JCPenney tag on it still. Um, it's got like a couple little marks on the bottom, I guess, from wherever it was stored. I don't really see anything too wrong with it, except there's a little spot right there. Teeny little spot there. I mean, everything seems pretty good on this one for the most part. The strap is in really good shape. You can adjust it a little bit. Let's see, you have a pocket, zippered pocket on one side, smaller zipper pocket on the other side, zipper, two zipper um, compartments on the top. One has your Tianello with the zipper, and the other one has some slip pockets. So really nice overall. There was just a few little uh, small flaws. Shoulder bag, blue um, leather Tianello. I will do this for $15. Here I'm drinking. <laughs> All right, so we have a little clutch. Um, I'm not sure if it's leather. I don't think so. There's just very, very little wear on the corners it does need a good cleaning it has a little kiss lock it says hl usa and it has a chain not bad it just needs to be wiped down Phone does fit and you can close it. Um, I again, I don't think it's leather. 
So for this little vintage cutie, I will do five bucks. Oh, you guys, I burned myself on some oil. That's a scratch, but look at that's burn. Oil splattered up on me when I was making dinner last night and it hurt. What do you want, Alice? Hmm, you're right here, you're right by the camera. Do you wanna say hello to everybody? Hmm, you got eye boogers. Okay, so next up we have a Vera Bradley. This could be a longer shoulder bag or a crossbody. I like the colors, purple, blue, like a burgundy, green, uh, like a beigey yellow. It looks really good. You open it up right here. You have a pocket, two pockets actually, one, two. Open it up, you have a zipper pocket and two slip pockets. Oh, this was from Savers from 1130 of 2011. That's interesting. <laughs> That's a long time ago. Okay, so we will do this one for $20. Nice condition. Okay, next up, we have let's, a little maybe faux leather um, reptile print. I don't know if that's like glue or something. I might be able to get that off. It looks like maybe glue or, yeah, I think it might be glue. See the sides? Usually with vintage items like this, after a while the glue will discolor. Um, yeah, just a little bit of glue discoloration, but otherwise really good condition. You have the little turn lock there. It says made in China. Nothing, no pockets or anything. Not bad. There's just some glue discoloration. It's kind of a cool opening. So if you don't mind that, or maybe you can um, pick it off. Sometimes if you have like a really sharp knife, you could just kind of pick that off. Um, so for this one, shoulder bag, I will do um, $8. Okay, we have another small little faux brown leather um, longer shoulder bag or crossbody. Um, it is small. Again, it will not fit. Oh, it might. Okay, so let's see. This side we have a little zipper pocket. There is very little wear to the corners, mainly on the other side. This side has a zipper pocket and a snap pocket and a little pouch pocket. So you got a lot going on in the front there. And then it's a zipper closure. It says made in India. So some, usually that means it's leather, but there's no um, tags that say it's leather, so I'm not gonna sell it as such. Um, and there is just a little bit of wear there. But otherwise, I mean, it's cute and it's in good shape. It does, it does fit. Okay, so you can get this little cutie I'll do for $6. Okay, then we have, this seems like faux leather as well, a little crossbody or longer shoulder bag. Actually, it might be leather. We'll see if there's any tags inside. There's a little bit of wear there on the edge very, very, very little wear on the corners. So let's see, on the back here you have a big pouch pocket. You can probably fit your phone back there. Yep, look at that. Okay. There, the, I might be able to get that off right there, just a little teeny scratch. And you pop it open. Oh, this is Charter Club and it is genuine leather. You have your little mirror there. In here you have a little pull out card section. 
which is attached. So that ain't going anywhere. You're not gonna lose it. And then you have a little zipper pocket here for change. And then your main compartment, there's no pockets or anything. But this is really cute. So minor wear, I, I, I've told you guys for all these purses in the, from the auction, I will clean them up as best as I can when you purchase them. So let's do um, $10 on this one. I see a couple wallets in this uh, batch. Okay, so this feels like leather as well. This can be a crossbody or shoulder bag. Somebody had a cute little mini keychain. So let's see, this side, it looks like you have all of your little compartments. You have a little like wallet section. You have a zippered pocket. You have another zippered pocket. And then on the back here, or this could be the front, whichever you would like, the zipper pocket. And then your main compartment, you can take that off if you don't like the jingle bells. The main compartment, there's no branding. It just says made in China. So this this is in really nice, oop, he, Dallas, you just moved the camera, silly. Um, this one is in really nice condition. There's just very minimal wear on the corner. I, I know I have a bad glare. The sun is coming in on that side. Very, very minor wear to the corners. Um, I will do 15 on this one. This is blue leather, blue pebbled leather, shoulder bag. It could be crossbody. You have a Florida on here that says Jan, Florida keychain. This actually looks like it could be Tianello. It is trans, trans setter, trans setter. I've never heard of that brand, but it seems like it's a leather. Let me see, yes, genuine leather, okay. So we have two pockets in the front, probably for um, cell phones, but they could be for cigarettes or keys. Um, the corners and the bottom are in really good condition. This is a little uh, wallet section and we have a lawyer's business card. <laughs> so we'll take those out. A little zippered pocket here. Oh, there's stuff in it. Too bad there's not money. So this is, it looks like a, a Walmart receipt and your the Jan's answering machine access code. <laughs> okay, then you got this zipper pocket. Oh my gosh, there's a lot in here, you guys. I think this is a little pill box. It has like a cloisonne style fish on it. It just looks like maybe um, aspirin or allergy medicine, but I will clean this out. Um, there is a little bit of wear to it, but overall it's pretty nice. I will do that for $5. And then we got another Walmart receipt. We got a Target receipt. We got a Webster Bank transfer request form and withdrawal forms and a home appliance business card and a calculator. Does it work? It works. <laughs> so if you want the calculator, I can include it with the purse, but I will not be including any of that other information. <laughs> and then the interior, you have a zippered pocket. Um, Oh man, there is a little bit of a flaw to that, to the one strap. So this might just need a few stitches. If anybody is a seamstress or can do a couple of stitches, but the other one is fine. So because of that, 
I will only ask $10 on this, and it comes with a calculator. <laughs> okay. Um, this is, it feels like faux leather, and it has a croc print, I don't know. Uh, longer shoulder bag. It is white. Ooh, there's a lot of transfer on the back. Um, I don't see a maker, but the pull says PC, so I'm not sure if that is a maker. So the inside has an, an inner zipper, but the inside is very clean. You have this pocket here on the front, but it's got a lot of discoloration. So because of that, I will only do this for $5. We have a little woven tote bag. Can maybe fit like a couple magazines in it. <laughs> um, it's not ripped or anything, $5. Okay, this is like a beige, beigey, creamy, genuine leather with man-made trim. I think this brand was the Worthington, right? So we got a pocket on each side. This one's actually in very good condition. There's just a little bit of wear. Um, it might be dirty. I can definitely clean that up. A little spot right there. You have a pocket on the back, or that's the front, however you'd like to wear it. Um, handle is really nice. Zipper closure. And, oh, St. John's Bay, that's right. St. John's Bay with the zipper. Now I'm like checking every pocket. Silica packs. And then you got your slips on that side. So this is in gr great condition, okay, you guys? There's just a couple little marks, which I will try to get out. I don't know if it's dirty or um, marks, but very minor, beautiful cream color, and I will do 20 on this one. Ooh, this might be a TNLO, yes. Okay, so we have a Tianello. This is brand new. Still with the Tianello and Savers from April 5th, 2011. <laughs> so I think this person may have thrifted most of these and just had them hoarded away. So um, it is a crossbody. I've definitely sold this style before. Um, it just looks like it needs a little bit of a cleaning. I don't really see any wear on it whatsoever. A nice pebbled blue leather. You got your little card sections here. A little zippered section. Your top zipper closure. Tianello with a zipper pocket. Hi Dallas. And then a little slip pocket on that side. So excellent condition, probably by far the best condition purse. Um, I will do 25. Hi, I know you're bored. I'm almost done, baby. Okay, so this one we have, um, I already see a little bit of staining right there. A little beige knit shoulder bag. That's the only little flaw I see on the outside. It is a zipper closure. It's faded glory. There's your interior, nice and clean. There is a slip pocket, and in the slip pocket, you have a little coin purse. Okay, so not bad. There's just that little stain. I will try to get that out. Let me show you where it is on the bag. So it's right there. 
and it's on the inside of that side too. Um, so I will try to get that out, but if anybody would like this one, it's $10. Hi, Bubba, what are you doing? He's literally like right there. What are you doing? You wanna say hi to the camera? Hi. <laughs> The floor next to me is a complete disaster, so please don't mind that. Okay, so this is another travel on. Hi, you wanna come up here? Okay, you can. It's okay. Good boy, he's getting very antsy. Okay, so we have travel on. This is a gold metallic. I'm not sure if this is leather. It is a crossbody or shoulder bag. You can adjust it. Uh, let's start with the back. So the back you have a zipper, zippered section, beautiful pink, some zipper, a zipper pocket. Um, the corners are great. There's just a little bit of peeling right there, so I'm gonna guess it's not leather. Open it up. You have a little pouch pocket there. You have a pouch pocket here, a zippered pocket and a slip pocket. And then you have a slip pocket here and here. Um, Phone does fit and you can close it. Dallas, I wouldn't lay in that bag if I were you. There's probably a lot of germs, honey. So this one I will do for $10. Can I clean that eye? It's yucky. Say hi to everybody. Those are your fans. <laughs> they love you. All right. <laughs> he has to show off for you guys, right? Okay, so next up we have this cute little um, sparkly metallic. It's okay, baby. There's nobody there. It's probably the wind. It's very, it's very windy out. So this you can make, you can have it as a longer shoulder bag, longer handle for shoulder, or you can have it doubled for the um, just a handbag. No, honey, it's okay. So I don't see any wear. Um, there, there might be a couple of scratches. Yeah, right there. You're gonna open this up. No, honey, not yet. Let mommy finish. He's trying to give me paw. Stop it. All right, so there's nothing on the inside. So overall, this is in really great condition. There's just a couple little scratches. Um, I will do this for $10. I know, I know, honey. I only have a couple more. Okay, hold on. Okay, so next up we have... <laughs> okay, sit. You can stay here. It's okay. Um, so we have a Mitzi. Mitzi handbags. Um, I don't think it's leather. It's got some discoloration. I mean, it's not horrible. Oh yeah, it is. It's like really dirty. Um, oh yeah, mm -mm. Nope, I am going to pass on this one and it is gonna go straight in the garbage. It is very, 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 very dirty. So um, there's a lot of discoloration along the top here. So that's gonna be a pass. I only have a couple more. You're taking down the whole uh, blanket there, bubs. Oy, oy, oy. Okay, that's just gonna have to do. All right, so next up we have a stone mountain. We need a new couch because this one is <laughs> trashed from dogs. <laughs> okay, so this looks like it's leather. It's a nice little crossbody or longer shoulder bag. Um, corners, everything looks great on this one. The back says Stone Mountain. You have the gold tone hardware, which is in great condition. 
cute little back pocket. The front has a little pouch pocket. Zipper closure. And the inside has a zipper, zipper pocket and a slip. Very clean, very nice. Phone fits. Very cute. This is super cute, you guys. You can dress this one up or wear it with just uh, like, you know, a casual outfit. It's super cute. I like it. Let's do um, 15 on it. Okay, we only have a few left. So next up is this. This feels like leather, but I'm not sure. It's, I've been tricked before. So this is red and it's got... I don't really see anything wrong with it. There's a light scratch right there. Um, it has silver tone hardware. Nice little clutch. I'm gonna open that up. And there, there is a handle, look at that, brand new, still attached, so you can wear it as a shoulder bag. Um, it is genuine leather. Okay, so it says made in China, Genuine leather with handmade trim. And then you have an interior pocket, zippered with just a silica pack in it. So very pretty, very good condition. Um, comes with the, the strap, let's do $12. Okay, then the last thing I see is a wallet, but this is peeling, look at all that. Eek. Eek, eek, eek. Yeah, let's see if there's even a brand on this. Um, always look in these slots. You never know what people shove in them. I find the little uh, like store cards like for people's keychains in this part a lot. But yeah, it's really, really peeling bad. It's too bad because it's brand new. It does, I will keep this um, wristlet strap low. Might be able to reuse that. Yeah, there's no branding, but it's literally peeling as I'm touching it. So that's gonna be um, trash as well. Um, if anyone wants it, just pay the shipping and you can have it. Same with the other tapestry bag. Okay, that's it. That wraps up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to email me um, at anotherchanceresale1 at gmail.com. All my information is always down below in the description box. Sold list is in the comment section. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already. Subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one.